Hello and welcome to some fixed pro late model racing here. On the dirt, we're at the dirt track at Charlotte. And uh, we are getting ready to start some qualifying here. Looks like we've been dropped into second split, as we are the number three car, unfortunately. But um, as uncomfortable as I normally am on dirt, I kind of feel maybe okay-ish. <laughs> we'll find out, but, um, you know, I was... I was doing okay in practice. I wasn't completely far off like I usually feel like I am, but who knows, maybe I was just doing laps when the track was in a better state, and then other people started doing laps after, and that's why it looked like I was fast. But we'll see what happens. The track is definitely much fresher than it was in the practice I was in. Got a really flat footed, I guess. One more lap. Uh, I don't know, I probably overdid it there, but. P4. That lap time was That's P4 2.1. for now. And this will be just a tiny bit faster. We're in the 15s. I saw some people in the 14s, so. Probably not that great, but although it looks like it's uh, slowed down a little bit, maybe. Because we actually weren't too far off. There's only one person in the 14s. Looks like all the laps are... the lap times are really close. Now, another thing I've been dealing with is my cue bar up here keeps showing up, and I don't know why. It's got me a little bit concerned. So I'm kind of watching that. Hopefully that will not be an issue. <laughs> we're, we're dropping. We are P7 at the moment. I don't know if I'm running the correct line or anything like that. I'm just completely clueless on dirt, but um, had this race going off. Wanted to uh, get some more dirt oval experience. So it's looking like we are going to be heat race number one. Here is your grid lineup for that one. We're going to aim for a top six so we can make it to the future and hopefully not have to do the consolation. I did do another uh, uh, dirt race in a late model not too long ago but uh, because uh, I got wrecked and because I was really really slow I didn't even make the feature and so kind of feels pointless to upload a race I don't even make the race <laughs> so I didn't I don't know maybe that would be something to watch me be slow but didn't actually make the feature so didn't uh, upload that one I guess we'll do session last lap, the see if we can the field is find the fast parts of the track. Eight. We expect to be fighting for the podium. We'll see, Fruit Chief Man. We'll see about the podium. I just want to finish top six, though. And uh, we're starting off in position. Oops, Follow I guess I got to shift it. We're not off to a good start. It turns out you do have to shift even if there's only one gear one actual moving gear, because neutral exists. <sighs> I should probably be focused. Oh, that. <laughs> Ten. Gets uh, the wiggles and moves over into the one. To be fair, these things are weird to drive whenever you're going slow. They're bouncing all over the place. Hopefully this goes well. We'll try to run higher up the track to start. That cue bar is really annoying me in the yellow up there. If people start saying like, hey, three car, you're blinking, I'll probably just get out of the way. But haven't heard anything yet, and I don't think of blinking, I think I just got bad latency or something. But I'll be listening to see what they say. All right, we are off. Green flag, green flag. Inside. This guy is cutting Clear. really close on me here. Four. Are we clear? I believe we're clear.
Uh oh. Okay, well, we're broken. I believe I saw our wheel. No, we're okay. I thought I saw our wheel fall off, but we did not have a wheel fall off. So there's nothing I could do there. That just happened right in front of us. Cut under here. They're running that high line. They're doing it better than I can, I think. We're very lucky our car didn't break there. Kind of just plowed through it. We had no choice. Can't quite slow down on dirt like you can in the paved stuff. But suddenly looking pretty good for us. Since uh, we just got to get a top six. Sucks that we got some uh, incident points there. Pitched it a little bit much. There. I tried running a little bit higher on that lap. That did not really work though. What flag did not Hopefully this guy doesn't do something stupid for P2 whenever we only just have to get a top six. One more to go. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. We should be fine. We'll run this lower line, he can't get us. So we'll get a P2. One of three survivors, I think. That was probably a pretty big wreck. We'll have to take a look at that as they do heat race number two. But uh, I guess I'll take it. Um, at least it was only 2x and not a 4x like they uh, would be in other series. So there's that. Gonna adjust my volume a little bit. It's a little quiet for me. So let's go back and watch that then. Heat 2 is getting started. So this was the launch. I was a little bit delayed hitting the gas, but that's okay. We It worked out. So I remember the four was really not giving us any room at all. It kind of just shuts the door on us even though we were pretty much there. Thankfully we didn't hook each other. Then uh, we were clear, so I was actually able to run the lines I wanted to run, which was good news. Probably could have run a little bit lower. I think lower side, lower side and uh, three and four might be the way to go. Although the guy behind got a great run, so. And then the four just runs him over. We put the pace at like 40 miles an hour. Um, I don't know. I think the 10 was apologizing. Likely it's going to be real slow. Uh, yeah, he did kind of slide What's up that? in front of him. I don't know enough about dirt racing to call that on anybody. And then, I mean, then I just have nowhere to go here. Kicks up sideways, and then what am I to do? In fact, I get pushed through it through it by the thirteen. See, where did that tire come from? I thought that was my tire. It was the fours tire, okay. I thought I was broken for a second. Green flag, green flag. But uh, now it was just uh, the fours tire coming off. And then uh, we're able to fight through it and get third, which means we're gonna be uh, headed all the way to the feature after the results there. And probably starting way too close to the front because I don't deserve to <laughs> be that far forward, but all right. We'll uh, rejoin then. Um, actually, let's see if did anything else happen, no. Nothing else happened in heat number one, so um, I'm going to go ahead and skip forward for you so we can get ready for the feature. And uh, I'll go ahead and show you the results of heat number two and the consolation once we get there. All right, see you in a moment. All right, we are back and we are starting P3, um, which I'm a little nervous about. Hopefully it'll be all right. Um, for the heat number two, the uh, results were as follows, with the 11 getting the win. And... Um, you had the two guys at the back there headed to the consolation, and that ended up being a non-thing because uh, the 15 just lost connection part way through. So <laughs> that uh, ended up pretty easy for the four to uh, find their way in. And uh, I better get gridded up before I run out of time. Line up on the inside. We're getting started for the feature here. 30 laps. Starting P3. Probably a little too far forward. The estimated strength of field is. 
I'm just going to try to be uh, consistent. Um, I don't think I'm going to do anything too crazy. I'm going to remember to uh, shift into first gear this time. That seems important. Um, being able to move the car forward seems pretty uh, integral to getting a good finish. So we'll try that out this time. Uh, the heat race number two uh, that I watched, that was actually really clean and really good. And the consolation as well, although the consolation kind of uh, was nothing, like I said, because the guy um, blinked out, disconnected, and then uh, they didn't have anything to fight for anymore, really. But hopefully things will be okay here. I'm pretty sure we get cautions in the feature here um, for the Pro Late model. So things go weird, then we actually will have to do some pacing. One to go, next time by. My internet is still bad, I don't know what's going on. It's not like I have anything downloading in the background or anything, so I don't know what the deal is with that. Probably gonna end up like the 15 and disconnecting, ready, which would be just ground. fantastic. It's honestly worse right now than it has been, so that's disconcerting, but gotta focus on getting ready to drive here, because it's about time to go. Green flag, green flag. Oh shoot, I slid up in front of him by accident. I didn't mean to do that. I did what the other guy did to me that I complained about. That was totally unintentional. Clear up top. Don't hit the tires. Almost hit the tires there. Outside. Clear outside if you want to. It's looking like the high line's probably where you want to be. Because they look faster up there, to be honest. No, I don't know. Maybe 3 and 4. It'll be good down here. No, it's not looking like it. Those guys are faster up there. Well, we're just losing a couple spots here. Not really much I can do about that. New fastest lap for Hicks, 15.1 E5. The lap time was at 15.6. Hey, maybe I can move up a little bit. I'm, I'm worried. I don't want to cut in front of somebody like I did on the first lap by accident. Ugh, like I almost did there. Clear up top P6. Caution. And a caution. Right. Oh, okay, what? Hello? Why did I just get slammed into the back of? Are you kidding me? <laughs> the caution was out for like 10 minutes. I've got wheel damage now. You've got wheel damage. Pit road's open. We've got damage. What a freaking moron. You've got damage on the right side. I guess he didn't realize the caution came out. That's great. Oh. I can't make a single one of these races without someone wrecking me, man. We were doing okay, I thought. I mean, we got stuck on the bottom there. Maybe our car's fine, but that was really annoying. Not a word out of the guy either. Oh, it's because it's muted. Pete Road is closed <laughs> right now. No idea if he said anything about it, but probably blamed me. That's usually how it works. <sighs> well, we're P6. We should be uh, able to stay on the outside this time. Feels like the cars should be drivable. I don't know how fast we're going to be anymore. Next time by, you're on the outside this time. <sighs> Frustrating, man. But we'll get going again. Going green. See if we can do a little bit better on the outside. The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. Okay, the 11's just sliding up in front of the 6, who is I've got to lift off for. Oh, 
Air feels a little bit skewed, maybe, but not too bad. Not bad. Yeah, it does feel a little weird, but uh, we're, we've got some pace still, so that's good. We've got to the higher side, which seems to be the faster line. I pitched it a little bit too much there. I got down the throttle too much. Sixth place. Inside. Struggling a bit. And there's a yellow. They want you in single file. Am I gonna get slammed in the back of this time? Looks like we're fine. Pit road open. Not sure what happened. Didn't see anything. It's too busy on what I was doing. I'm too unfamiliar with this car to say for sure, but it does feel like the steering maybe is a little weird, but it seems like we're just fine. Otherwise, currently P6, got another 2x to go with our 2x from the Pete heat race. Right now. But we didn't lose any spots that time, which is great. The driver in front of us is hey, can I forget the pace back there? So we got 11 laps done. Caution laps do not count, in case you're wondering. Can we get up there? Santa's complaining about bunching the field up, it sounds like. Can't see, the 11's kind of high up the track. There it is. Had to wait for the eight or the six there. You're in fifth, he five. Inside. Clear inside. Don't want to go down low. I don't think that's going to be the way to do it. P6. Your lap time was 15.7. Inside. Clear. But I could be wrong. I don't feel like I could be fast down there, at least. I feel like I'm going to get inside, freight trained if I go inside. down there. You're up top, three wide. Top Clear. three wide, just what I wanted to hear. Suddenly got some space behind us. I think they might have run into each other a little bit. Uh, run a little bit lower down in three and four. I think that might be better. Okay. We'll test down here too since we can. That was better. We're going to keep doing that, I guess. Six. Uh, that didn't work. Whatever I did there. Dirt getting in my face. That was a fifteen point six. So inconsistent, I can't tell if like the line I'm running is good or if I'm just not hitting the line right one lap or the other.
Captain Bauman behind is now 0.5. We're searching all over and we're uh, getting the 7 catching up to us as well. Head to go, they've gone by. The gap in front is increasing, it's now 0.9. That lap time was 15.7. Still sixth place, so that's good, I guess. Maybe we found our spot until the red car passes us. Although we pulled back away a little bit by uh, moving back up the track. I think my experimentation was just making me slower, unfortunately. Well, maybe a little bit something in three and four when I go lower. Seeming like definitely you want to be on the high side of one and two. Was at Gotta hit the line though, I didn't really do it that time. You got five laps to go. Five Just laps to go. To Look for opportunity. Slow car ahead, that's not bringing out a caution, but it's also just a lap car. So no free spots, unfortunately. The quickest today, really? Interesting. That's surprising to hear. I think we are coming to two to go. Hopefully we can just finish this out. I don't really want to get bunched up again. What flag did Todd? Got a bit of a low exit there, kind of worked. White flag, one more lap. The to Bauman behind is now 0.9. Six is making a big slide. Nearly running into the eight, but not quite. And uh, we will get ourselves a P6. All right, I'll take that. Sixth place. Let me make sure I full throttle it so I don't get hit from behind. All right. I think we're good. Job. You did really well. And let's yeah, stop it. Ran pretty much on a two lap to go. All right, so we will end up with a two X, getting hit under caution, but uh, we get a nice, decent finish. I'm happy with P6. According to uh, Race Lab, that should be a gain of dirt oval I rating. So I'm. Um, very content with that, even as the three car finishing sixth. Uh, we'll go back and look at the incidents, including um, whatever happened to us. I don't know if maybe it was my fault. Maybe I just can't let off the gas like that on dirt. Maybe it's just something I need to not do. That slight bit of contact there on lap five. Got some guys bouncing off the wall. And then uh, a wreck being caused as a butterfly effect of it, interestingly, because the, f the two gets into the wall, and then because he's coming off the wall and the uh, 12 wants to get around him, he ends up paying for it worst of all, because he gets put into that uh, wall right there in the opening. Horrible angle, and a couple more people get caught up in it. That's the end of the twos race, unfortunate for him. And then, oops, wrong button. You just get destroyed. I don't know why. I have no explanation for that. Did he say anything about it? What? Seven just slams into the back of us. Ah, door to go. Ah, door to go. There's a guy in the wall above me, so I had to come down. No. Don't think so. So he just uh, was not paying attention, I guess. No idea. But uh, we hit. <laughs> Never says anything about it. 
I don't know. Well, let's look at it from his perspective. Maybe... No, he just didn't notice caution for a while. Because caution has been out for a while, I think. You can see him lifting off. Like, the caution's out here. Even before then, a little bit. I don't know. Lap 11, 14's gonna get the rear quarter panel of the 16. Twelve moving down the track. Oh wow, they are all sandwiched up together right there. Somehow they all keep it going. They're four wide for a moment there. Never mind, they're still four wide. And <laughs> everyone's just running into everybody. Four is broken, it looks like. Yeah, he can't turn. Is that what brought out the yellow? Maybe. He's taking the shortcut. Huh. Weird. Lap 17. Just a little bit of wall hitting. Fourteen slides. And then maybe a little bit far off the wall. Oh, the 16 runs over the wheel. The tire down there. Did that hurt his tire? I think it did. He looks off pace all of a sudden. Yeah, look how it's wobbling. He broke his, uh left front tire Fourteen's loving that line, that slider line twelve gets the wall, thirteen almost comes and gets him and uh, I believe that is the end of the race so um, we had a pretty good one. We got run into under caution, but uh, at least that didn't hurt us too bad. We were able to still hold on to sixth. Really, as soon as we got to the outside, we were able to stay there and didn't lose any more spots, but we didn't gain any either. So, uh, in the end, I guess I'll take it. Um, I guess whenever the yellow comes out in the future, I'll, I'll try to keep moving forward a little bit more because you can't quite slow down as quickly, I guess, on dirt, so maybe it's on me. Not sure, but here are the race results. 2091 strength of field, it's second split, I believe. Yes, that is confirmed. So we'll gain 24 I rating and uh, lose a little bit of our safety rating on Dirt Oval. Um, we're B447 now. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I'm pretty happy with that. That's a pretty solid run for me on Dirt. <laughs> um, weirdly, lap 26, my fastest lap. <laughs> which is the later, latest in the race anyone had a fastest lap, so I feel like that says a lot about my driving. Uh, in fact, we had the slowest <laughs> the slowest um, fastest lap time in the top 10. Had to go all the way down to 11th for the next guy, and he might have had damage, because I remember he got caught in stuff, so. Hey, we got, the, uh, we got a decent result, though. That's what matters, and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, some dirt oval racing. Uh, I will see you in the next one, and I hope you have a good one. I'll see you.